This is today's warm up. Should already been done from the previous box. If not, please pause the video now. You can go back and look at the box or use the slide if you can see it clearly. Pause it now. For the rest of us, let's move on. Number one, what's the final one be between B between C and D on the number line? Well, if I'm looking at all these numbers or all these uh, letters, I should say, they're all above a negative integer. Okay, so all of these, is gonna, it's gonna be a negative number. So I know off the bat, if I can eliminate a bad answer choice, D is absolutely incorrect. It cannot be a positive four. That would be way over here. So between C and D, it's gotta be between negative one and zero. Since we're going to the left of zero though, it's gotta be a little less than zero, but a little greater than negative one. So between these two, if I'm looking at this first one, negative 1.25, well, if I think about positive numbers, 1.25 is going to be between 1 and 2. If you think about $1.25, you have more than $1, but less than $2. So in this case, so that's between 1 and 2. So in this case, negative 1.25 is going to be between negative 1 and negative 2. So that's going to be right there. That's a little outside the range that we're looking for. So it's not a... B, negative 2.5, just like positive $2.50 is between $2 and $3. Negative 2.50, it's gonna be between negative two and three. That's way over here, that's between A and B. That's not what we're looking for. C, however, 0.75 is a little less, if we're thinking about positive numbers, 75 cents would be a little less than $1, but a little more, it's gonna be more than zero. So it's gonna be between zero and one. So negative 0.75 is gonna be between zero Negative one, kind of closer to the negative one side. So that means C, answer choice C, would be between C and D. Hopefully you got C for number one. Number two, for a fundraiser, a student sold 40 candy bars and raised a total of $48.80. How much was each candy bar? We're looking for the price of one, each one. That's gonna be a unit rate problem. So it's gonna be a division problem in the end. We know that with unit rate, it's gonna be something over one. Now, since I see money, I'm gonna get you split money on top. So we have money over candy bars. That's my ticket. Those are the two things you're comparing. Well, how much money? It's forty-eight dollars and eighty cents. For how many candy bars? For forty of them. Well, now the easy part. We got to go from forty to one, and we know to get down to one, we just divide by any. To get down to one by division, just divide it by a number by itself. Sorry, I couldn't spit that one out. So 40 divided by 40 is one. And what I do to the top, do to the bottom. Now off the get-go, looking at the rate right here. If this number, if this numerator was 40, it was $40 for 40 candy bars. That means each candy bar would be a dollar. But since this is a little more than 40, that means the answer is gonna be, the, each candy bar is gonna be a little more than a dollar a piece. So, off the bat, I know it can't be B. And honestly, D is probably gonna be too much anyway because it's gonna be a little more than a dollar per. So between A and C, well, now we just divide it out. You take your calculator or do the long division if you're an all-star, $48.80 divided by 40 gives me 1.22, AKA $1.22. Last but not least, er, nope. Three, a student is taking two kinds of medicine. She takes medicine A every three hours, medicine B every two hours. She takes both, this is the most important part, she takes both of them at nine in the morning, 9 a.m. When is the next time she's gonna take both medicines again? I'm gonna show you two ways. I'm gonna show you the fail-proof, kind of longer way at the beginning, and then I'm gonna show you a shortcut for those who are really good with time later. So medicine A is taken every three hours. Medicine B is taken every two hours. The most important part I said is she starts at 9 a.m. So we're gonna write 9 a.m. under each one to start with. Now A is every three hours. So three hours later than 9 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m. is noon. And then three hours after that, 12, and then it goes back to one, two, three. And then four, five, six p.m. Run out of room, so I'll stop there for now.
9 a.m. or excuse me, medicine B starting at 9 a.m. but this time we're counting by every two hours. So every two would be 9 a.m., 10, 11 a.m., and then 12, 1 p.m., and then 2, 3 p.m. So the next time she takes both medicines, the first number that they share again is going to be this 3 p.m. That's the first time they share. So the answer is going to be 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, a quicker way for those who are going at least count multiple, if we're counting by threes and twos, three, six, nine, 12, two, four, six, eight. If we notice the first, the least common multiple, the first number they share is actually six. Now just know six o'clock is gonna be an answer choice. But we're not counting by o'clocks. Here we're counting by what? Hours. So what this means is every six hours, she's taking both medicines. So that's important, if you can just, if you're good with time, if you know that's every six hours, you can just do six hours later than 9 a.m. That'd be 9 a.m. 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Might be a little quicker way to do it. Either way it works, find the one that works best for you. Last but not least, finding the area of this shape. This shape is a triangle, and by now we should know with a triangle, we have to take half of the area. So one half times base times height. What numbers aren't we using? Well, we know base and height form the right angle. So we don't care about the slants over here, so we don't care about those nines. So it's one half times 10 times eight, which would give us 40, not 80, because we gotta take half of it. Half of 80 is one half, or you do one half times 10 is five, five times eight is 40. Whatever you do, you get 40, or it's 40 square units. Hopefully we want four for four there to start today's lesson.